my, he looks like a 160 pound man. You know why? You why? know why, Joe? You know what they've started to do? I think it's the most dangerous thing in the world. But what? you know what they've started to do? Aljamain Sterling was one of the first to tell me, but he doesn't cut all of his weight. So with us, we would go on Thursday night if I weigh 216 and I have to be 205 by Friday morning, I would get as low as I possibly could and then try to go to bed. So if I'd get to 207, I would hope that by the morning I'd be 206. I'd only have to lose a pound in the morning. So I'm dehydrated for 12, 13, 14 hours. Those guys today are going to bed at that weight, Joe, 10, 11 over, and waking up at like 4 or 5 in the morning and cutting the weight. Because they said if they cut all that weight, they don't sleep, which I can attest to. It don't matter how much melatonin you take. It doesn't matter what you do. You're going to wake up because you're so hungry. You're so dehydrated. You're not going to get a good night's sleep. They're going to bed heavier, getting up in the morning, sucking all that weight off, and they're dehydrated for only like four hours. Mm. It's, I think it's dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Because you have to cut 10 pounds in four hours. If you don't. You're screwed. Oh, you think it's dangerous career-wise? I think it's dangerous because you could not make the weight. Right. Because okay. you're not giving yourself any room for if anything goes sideways. Right. Because yeah. the worst possible feeling is when you go through your entire routine and you expect to lose eight, but you might lose six or five and a half. And then you're like, now I got to work out. What's the cause again? of that? Like, what, What's the, the, the variabilities? I don't know. Did Cold you, room. Did you ever work with a doctor? To like on no, I just with weight cutting. So what I would do is I wrestled right my whole life. So what I would do is I would do these test cuts because I was very afraid. Because at the Olympics, my kidneys shut down, so I didn't get to wrestle my second Olympic games. So I was scared. So I would two weeks before the fight or three weeks before the fight when I first started to go to two hundred five, I would go on a Saturday and I would just cut some weight. I'd get to two ten, two eleven. I'd lose nine pounds. Okay. I know if I do this for an hour, I'll lose nine pounds. The next weekend, do it again. Lose nine pounds. I know. So then it became a thing where I knew in the right circumstances, with the right temperature in the room, I could lose nine pounds. As long as it wasn't 65 degrees, I was fine. Anything over 70, as most gyms are, I was getting nine off. So I would, I had this routine. I would get up. Get my body water loaded. I would go into the sauna with just my stuff. Put all my sweet sweat on. Get sweating after like five minutes. Sweat till 10. Then start putting all my clothes on in the sauna. So I would have my socks, my shoes, my sweats, my t-shirt, my hat, my plastics. I would put them all on in the same way every time. Plastic pants, sweatpants, socks, shoes, long sleeve t-shirt under the plastics because I didn't like it against my body. Plastic top, sweat top, hat, gloves, and everything just tucked in. And then I would go right out of there because that would take me to like 15 minutes in the sauna. I would walk straight to the treadmill, Joe. Then I'm on the treadmill. I run a mile, but only at five because now my heart rate is, my heart's doing this because it's hot from the sauna. It's like, then I'm trapping all this heat in. I get out, I'd run for a mile, 12 minutes. Now I'm at 27 minutes. Then I walk. I walk for 20 minutes on two. If I start, if my heart rate slowed, I would put a little bit in incline, go to three, walk for 20 minutes. Now I'm at 47 minutes. I get off of the treadmill, go straight to the ground where they wrap me for 13 minutes. And in those 13 minutes, I'm hurting, Joe. I'm hurting. I'm laying there. I mean, people are like rubbing me. They're like talking to me, trying to comfort me. But every time I took all that shit off, pool of blood, I'm sorry, pool of water, Nine and a half, ten pounds. And I could tell based on my sweats. So I'd wear gray sweats, these gray Oklahoma State sweats. And if it came up to my calf, mid-calf, I knew I got the weight that I wanted. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how that sweat would come up on the sweats. But if it came up to my sweats on my leg and then up to my uh, mid-forearm on my arms, I knew I'd lose, lose the weight that I needed to lose. Wow. So, so the now- whole time I was, lo- I was like, and yeah, it just kind of starts right here, and then as you're working, it just keeps creeping up your body. And then once you made it, what was the rehydration process? Well, the best was before you saw it when you could take IV. Right. That was the best. Why was that better? Joe, it beats your stomach. Like, 
The problem with rehydrating is it would mess with your stomach. Everything you drank would make your stomach hurt. Everything you ate would make your stomach hurt. So even if you made weight at, at, at four, you're not really eating a good meal till six because you got to get through like the cramps. You got to get through the diarrhea. You got to get through all this stuff that you did. So the IV was the best because while you're doing the IV, going directly into the blood, all that fluid going right, it's, it's passing this. It's just going into your body. So while you're doing that, you start to feel better. And I mean, the IV bag, Joe, was like, it was like a straight line. It wasn't the drip. You know how it looks like it drips? Right. My body would just suck that water out of that bag. <laughs> was, my body was like sucking that water out of that bag. It was a straight line down. How many bags would you take? Two. 16 pounds of IV. Wow. And then they took it away from me. So then we had to start doing it another way. And the reason why is because you could use it to mask performance-enhancing drugs? Yes, is that it? that's what they say. That's what they say. Why don't they allow it from places that have... Maybe there's a way to do a test before you do an mm -hmm. IV. Yeah. You know? Because, like, it seems stupid to that, cut to off stop the, the IV. IV. The IV works. Yeah, why don't you... Why don't, what if they had, like, a thing where you had to say, hey, I'm planning on taking an IV... You guys come and test me before I take yep, the IV. Yep, yep. And come they and do test that. them. That should be easy. That should be easy. And then you could get your IV. Well, they're getting tested anyways. Yeah. They're exactly. getting tested constantly. So And, and this new organization, what is it? A drug Free Sport? Is that yep. what it's called? I don't know. I actually don't even know which one it is. There's a new organization, but Dana White is very highly of it. So yeah. I just wish they, I wish they would allow guys to use things like the 157. The peptides. Like yeah, that, one just, of my buddies is really big on peptides. He said it's helping him. He said it's helping him a lot. I've never tried them, but. It can help you heal. And yeah. Guys, guys are constantly injured. Dealing with pulled this and yanked that. If I could help my back. I, I need, I need yeah. something to help my My back is just messed up, man. Oh, after the surgeries? The, oh, the life in wrestling. Mm. The surgery after the Derek Lewis fight. You told me, you said, dude, you got to do this. And. I never got a, I just, I went and got a, a regular back surgery and I shouldn't have did, I should have went and did something a little different. Yeah. Back surgery screws you. You're done if your back goes out. Yeah. And fighting. It's over. Can't train the same. Now, there's been a few guys that have had discs replaced. Yeah, that's what I did. My back was, and did now. Did you get it replaced? No, no. With a fake one or did they no. fuse it? Just to fuse it, yeah. yeah. My back is just jacked though, bro. Like mm. it's so bad. Some days I wake up, I'm like, this is crazy. You ever see, uh, Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah. You see his yoga program? I heard he it's really good. It's really good. And You've tried it? I've done a lot of his exercises. Wow. And um, he's developed it specifically for guys that are like coming off of pro wrestling and their body's all beat up. Yeah. He's 